Hey everybody, today I wanna to teach you about how to create downloadable items in MailChimp. I'm sure you've probably seen somewhere on the internet where you know just give your email address and you can have a free download of something. I wanna show you how you can do that in MailChimp. And this is, having landing pages in MailChimp is reasonably new. And I know when I looked on the internet to try to figure out how to do this, it was, it, it was super complicated. I didn't find the easiest way to do things and I like to do things the easy way. So I thought I would show you today. So let's go ahead and head on over to the computer and let's start taking a look. So here we are, we're on the MailChimp, uh, MailChimp.com here and we're gonna go ahead and log in. Pretty basic there, great. Now, the very first thing you wanna do, of course, is to create your document, which I have already done. And if you wanna, if, actually, if you'd like to see tutorials on doing that type of thing, I'm not a graphic designer. So um, I love tools like Canva to make things like that. And that's what I did for this particular item. And uh, so I already have that on my computer. But what we're gonna do in order to, to upload this to MailChimp is the first thing we're gonna go to is, in MailChimp, we're gonna to go to templates and then we're gonna to go to the content manager right here. And now we're going to click on the upload button. Now this is going to be, there we go, there's our Facebook page checklist. That's the item that we want to upload. And this is a PDF. So it's uploading now. Okay, um, let's go ahead and copy this URL. I've, I've got it, I'm gonna, I've, you can't see it on the screen, I've got another document open that I'm just gonna paste that URL into so that I've got it for, for later on. All right, so, then, so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna create a new list. So let's go to the list area, we're gonna close all of this, go to list, and now we're gonna create a new list right here. So we're gonna create list, and we're gonna call this one free download, well, actually I'm just gonna take part of that, and Facebook page checklist. There we go. And our default from email address is my email address, and this is for my company, so here we go. So there's a campaign, URL settings is all right. We're just gonna scroll through all of this, and we probably want a daily summary on the number of people who sign up for our opt-in. And we're gonna go ahead and click on save right here. Please check your entry and try again. Okay. Oh, see, you are receiving. We're just gonna copy their text here, but they won't let me copy it. Okay. All right, now we're gonna save it. So now we've got our list. Okay, so next up, we wanna create a landing page, and this is going to be the area where people can sign up for our, for our free checklist. So back over in MailChimp, let's uh, get, go back over here. We are going to go to Campaigns, and up in the top, we're gonna to go to create campaign and we're going to create a landing page. So we're gonna call our landing page the same thing as we called our, uh, our list, is our free download Facebook page checklist. And that is going to be the list that we want this to go to. And this is gonna be the sign up source here. So here we are, I'm going to leave out the logo part and I'm just gonna move I guess, can I move this up? Let's see, yeah, we're gonna move that to the top. And, and I've already created some text to, uh, so that you guys didn't have to watch me type. And so in here, we're gonna put in uh, our text right here. There we go. And we don't need that space there. So we're gonna save and close that. And then in here is a description that we can we can use, and so let me grab that text, and 
We're going to paste that there. And we want this to be centered like that. And make sure we take out this extra space here. I, I don't feel like that text is quite big enough, so let's go ahead and change the style here. So we're gonna change that to maybe, yeah, I think that'll work. And, and keep in mind, my audience is, is going to see this probably on mobile phones more than anything else. And so we kinda want that bigger text there. Uh, we also wanna go ahead and add first name as an option. I don't like the color of that button because it is not a, my brand is like red, black, and um, red, black, gray, whites, like that kind of thing. So there's that. And then we wanna create the hover button color. So we'll go with a red, but we're gonna go with something that's slightly lighter. Um, we're just gonna to go to the very top here. And I think that'll probably be good. So that way when you hover, you can tell that it's changed. Uh, the other thing is we want to change our button text to, um, yeah, we'll, download free checklist. And then for our confirmation, this is important, um, it'll be the thanks, you're on the list. Okay, so now that we have a landing page, that's great, and next we wanna set up an automation. So to do that, we're going to go back over to MailChimp. So now that we have our landing page set up, our next step is we want to do an automation. So in order to do that, we're gonna to go to campaigns and then create a campaign. Now in here, we're going to create an email and we want it automated. And this we're going to probably welcome new subscribers and that's probably good. So we're gonna say welcome message and it's going to be for the free Facebook pages checklist. There we go. And it's going to be for the list of our free download Facebook page checklist. And we're going to begin. Now in here, it takes it just a moment here. And now we wanna go ahead and design our email. And we're gonna do just something simple. So with the name, this is a welcome Facebook pages. So the email subject, here's your download. And for the preview, download for racers. And we're gonna keep this from Crate Insider and next, here we go. And then here we're going to probably, let's see, I'm looking at the templates here. We really want just something really simple. So, gosh, let's just, we don't have any pictures or anything. Here we go, let's just do this really simple one right here. And when we click on this one, there we go. There we go. So let's just say, here's your There we go, click the button to download and then for our button, we're going to change that text here, edit. And yep. download now. 
Now, of course, want to take them somewhere. So if you'll remember, we uh, we saved our link to our we saved our link to our PDF. So I'm gonna I've caught, got that in the other screen, and I'm gonna paste that in here. The other thing is I don't like the blue buttons again. So we're gonna change this. And if you knew your color, you could just type that in there. Um, I normally just pick um, like the red at the top somewhere. There we go. And, and actually I have a color picker here. This would probably tell me that the last time is this one right here. Because that's the color from my website. So I can copy that and I can paste that in here. Right, so if you haven't used color picker before, that's my other little tip in here. And there we go. So save and close. And now we're going to go through and delete all the rest of the parts of this of this email that we, that's really all that email is gonna say. So all of these other sections are irrelevant to what we wanna do here. So we're just gonna delete these, delete, delete, delete. There we go. And I'm just gonna delete these social buttons for right now. Normally I would edit these. Um, I'm just trying to do this for our video. and. So I, I really, people just want their download and that's all we're gonna do in this one. So this, this one's all kind of automated here. And now we're going to save and continue. Uh, now I always recommend previewing and testing. So that's, that's always a good idea. Um, I'm actually gonna click on the design email again here because it's so, so important to test. So we're gonna send a test email to myself here. Okay. And then we'll check the, check our email here. Uh, let's see. Probably just takes a moment, but I get impatient. <laughs> always, always get impatient. There we go. Here's your download. Here's your Facebook page checklist download now. Okay. I think that works. You know, it's not perfect. I know that there are some other prettier ways to do this, but you know, to, to get it done, this is a great way just to get it done. So there we go. And we're going to click on save and continue. There we go. And that's it. So the nice thing about automations is of course you can do a whole welcome series, but this, this is gonna work for now for what we wanna do. So we have a landing page where people will start off with. We have our list that they're going to be subscribed to. And then when they subscribe, well, when they sign up through any of those means, then they're automatically going to get this welcome email. And when um, the other thing we should have checked, and we're gonna check it right now, is let's see what happens when we click this button. When we click this button, it's going to take them to the download. This is really what we've been trying to deliver the whole time. So the landing page is going to get, allow people to sign up and eventually this is what they're this is what they're going to get out of their experience and so that's really good so that is how you create a downloadable product within MailChimp with a landing page and an automated email if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing on my channel please consider subscribing and if there are other videos that you would like to see me do feel free to leave a comment um, or if you have any questions about this process and it is a process uh, I actually ran into a little couple stumbling blocks along the way and um, if or if you'd like me to create a sheet that you can download to with these instructions I would be happy to do that as well so um, I will look forward to seeing your comments and look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you so much for watching